Hello everyone, welcome to yet another exciting edition of The Untold with Hussein Rajouz. Thank you so much. And this guy. And uh, Ahmed Mazidi, of course. Thank you. Uh, today we'll have a very interesting guest, a colleague of mine, a friend. Yep. In the industry, um, in the media industry. In the media industry, yep. right here on KTV2. He is a phenomenal human being, honestly. He is very... Yep. Like he's very particular about certain things in life. I mean, I've done my research, and yes. obviously he's your friend. Yes. Uh, I think the one thing I like people just wait for. He's very, he's interesting in his fashion. Yes, I like his character. Yes, he loves history. Um, he carries his way in a very unique way, and he's very experienced in the field. Am I right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Right after this, we'll have Mohammed Blushi joining us for the untold. We're back and we're being joined by a very special guest, I would say, for today. Colleague at KTV, uh, an educator in your own way, and the famous... Oh, he is there. The, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, starting to be shy at the start now. <laughs> no, don't be, it's, I mean, it's the yeah, fact, yeah. it's the truth. I've you seen you a few times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, you don't need to leave. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Ahmed okay. Leblouchi, wonderful uh, host of... Uh, multiple shows on KTV, yeah. and we've had our own show back the in the list. day, The you List. Did? Yeah, it's called The List. Uh, the the we'll, Untold, The List, there's a theme happening the, 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 here. Trust yeah. me, there is no... Mm. The, actually, we can merge the both programs, like we can... The Untold List. The Untold List. The Untold List. The untold yeah. list. Nice. So, but, uh, Ahmed Blushi, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's, it's, a pleasure. Is, uh, it's, pleasure. it's a pleasure to meet you, by the way. I'm yeah. his friend, but it's a pleasure to meet you. You're no stranger for KTV2. And I would like to start from the beginning. Let's go back to your background in education. What got you into your major? And we'll go from there. Well, if you want to talk about the Library of Information Science, mm. actually, it's a coincident me joining it because I wanted to join different uh, majors. But mm. the time I want to enter college was only one of the few available mm. majors there. So. I said, like, let me give it a try, and um, uh, thanks to Allah, everything went perfect. Like, I, I finished my bachelor's degree, mm. um, I went to be a school librarian also, mm. nice. and then I continued my master's degree. Also, I'm um, qualified to do a PhD also. So and in what exactly? In what exactly? Yeah. Library information science. Library information. That's very interesting. So if you can just, just because I actually don't know much about it. So what exactly is library information science? Well, if you want to oh, nice. talk about the library information science, like most of the people, they go to the library. Yeah. They don't know how to choose the books. Yeah. And unfortunately, some people also, and sometimes students, they don't know the difference between a bookstore and a library. Do you know the difference? The one sells, the other rents? Yes, let's say. <laughs> uh, the, actually, the bookstore can... Uh, can still also, rent, yeah. yeah. But the, the library is, isn't for sale. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So there's a classification. Okay. Uh, there's uh, different services in the library. And also with the rapid growth of knowledge, you can notice uh, the different services, new mm. services the libraries can offer, especially for uh, students or any other uh, yeah. people who are visiting the mm. library. Uh, for research, yeah, definitely. it's very important. If it's uh, yeah, yeah. university or mm -hmm. college, of course, right. different services. You must read a lot then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, so that's actually interesting for me because in this culture, um, which I find really, really um, different, I'd say, mm -hmm. that people in this culture, sadly enough, I don't feel that they actually read much. And then uh, you hear, uh, you're Kuwaiti, uh, and you say you read a lot. And so you're like, you're an actual change maker to me. How, how, how do you get inform information? Let, let me give you an example. This is the example I always um, um, like uh, like to share with people. They ask me about the libraries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mostly there are two examples, the main examples. If mm -hmm. you want to go to a library, or yeah. let's say starting from you, from your room, from your home. Okay. How do you feel when you eat alone? I is could... it the same as families gathering? 
No. Uh, no, of course not. No. It's different. Of course, it's very, very different. Very different. Yeah. Time by yourself, you're, you're eating alone, at least, I mean, you can hear actually, everything. Actually, you're getting more information also, and you can get entertained sometimes, like yeah. you eat with your Alone family. or with your family? Because alone, you can be watching TV and, you know. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> TV with you. So, when you search for information, you search yeah. for information, let's say, online. Most of the people or students, let's say, one of the most dangerous things they do, mm. they only go for the first result of the, the search. Right. And they go to right. search. Yeah. And, they, and then they copy and paste it. Right. Which is really wrong. But when you go and uh, find trustful resources, mm. such as books and reference, uh, yeah. uh, other things like, uh, let's say, encyclopedias, dictionaries. Of course, publications. Everything, yeah, def definitely. It will be different. It will be different for you, and you'll get more knowledge more than the others, especially... Nice. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you got the knowledge, and you kind of jumped all into it and wanted to pursue it uh, exactly. later on. Exactly. And also, when you go to the library, let's say you're seeking a book about medicine. Okay. Mm. And let's say three of us went there, and let's say you are seeking a, uh, a book of medicine. Fair. Let's say Ahmed recommended a book, or he liked a book about history. Fair. And me, I liked a book about geography. You can okay. be influenced by it also. Mm. You can be interested to it. That might lead you, especially if you're a student, high school mm. student, or any uh, grade, you can, it can lead you to do your major at the future. By just like, reading yeah, a single book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Grow your passion also. But mostly the rapid growth of, uh, let's say, the social media and the internet mm. made some people, I'm not saying all of them, forgetting about reading and the yeah, value yeah. of reading. Right, right. Exactly. Now, I want to segue into your jump into the TV world. When did that start? How did it start? What brought you to television? Okay, so you want to talk about TV first, not the other thing related to the media. So, well, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, going to go the shift yeah. career essentially from a library focused yeah. uh, to something to TV and media. It's library focus is, um, let's say, I was a college student. Of course, yeah. I have, uh, like, um, there's in my mind a lot of interest also. Mm. Course. Like you cannot say to any student that you are a medicine student, so you cannot play tennis. Mm. Right. It's risky for you to play tennis. Why? You're go going to wear a doctor's robe, but you cannot play tennis. It's, it's not yeah. logical. It's, yeah, yeah, of course. So um, my start with the, mm. uh, let's say, the media or TV mm. yeah. question. First, I started with the radio in 2018. Mm. 2018, you started on radio? Yeah. Kuwait, to, yeah, Kuwait to, TV's radio? Kuwait TV's radio. Nice. Okay. Kuwait's radio, yeah. And I was starting at news. Okay. Then I shifted to... What was, was your it? beginning in English or Arabic? English. English, English yeah. Okay. Then I uh, shifted to... So you were always doing English? English, always. So um, is there a reason why you didn't choose Arabic? Well, it's a rare question to ask. Yeah, actually, I mean, I'm actually, actually curious. I mean, why not? Like, yeah, actually, I never thought about it this way. You've I had experiences in Arabic. I thought it's like something I can do. Mm. Mm. And I never thought of me doing specially English. Mm. Mm. Just it came along, you know. And it was an option to choose. You went with it and the, and the path took you with it. Okay, yeah. fair. Moving on. That's, okay. the, that's the thing. So, we arrive for the radio station you started, right? Yeah. And just that, how did that start? With like, who approached you? How did that happen? Because this is your introduction to the media. You know, like sometimes uh, people, when they hear you read, they tell you like you have a special voice. You have a Morgan Freeman voice? No, I don't no. believe so. No. <laughs> Do I? No, but I'm saying, is that what you're insinuating? Yeah, you have I'm a unique a, voice. I'm at the level of believing anything you can say to me, as long as it's a compliment. <laughs> So, so what you're trying to say is that someone saw uh, potential in you in radio yes. and told you to come on board. Yeah, that's the thing. I love okay. that. And you went yeah. with it. Uh, yeah, some yeah. people... It's something different and also motivating for you. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I love my job. I love I being a librarian. Also, I love uh, doing... Uh, media stuff. Yeah, media job. So your transition from radio to television, when did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, it was uh, in 2021. 2021? Yeah. Two yeah. years ago? Yeah, I would say in the middle of the pandemic. Okay. Was it for Helicoid? Yeah, the start for Helicoid. Uh, Helicoid. Mm. And special uh, greetings to everyone yes. at Helicoid. And uh, how, how do you say it? Like, good evening and welcome to a brand new episode of Helicoid. And uh, it was uh, still, uh, I'm working with them. It's really great. And, uh, You've been on air with them for the past two years. 
Definitely, yes. And I started as a reporter there. You started as a reporter, yeah. okay. And then I was... So now you're one of the main hosts? One of the main yeah? hosts. Yes. Yeah. Well deserved. Truly actually. my pleasure working with uh, all of them, all of my colleagues. I can tell this is a very good team you guys have. Uh, I've worked with uh, you guys before. And it's a pleasure. It's yeah, a pleasure. It, was, it was a lot of fun. Everyone knows what to do. It was like yeah. a well-oiled machine. You know, <laughs> it, it, honestly, you guys are terrific at that show. And uh, it shows with the success over the years. It's the oldest show we have. Probably. Especially it's a daily show. And it is the daily show, yeah. to you uh, the value of uh, our lovely country, Kuwait. Mm -hmm. And everyone who doesn't understand Arabic, mostly the international language right. is English. Yes. So yeah. you have to uh, tr like show them mm. the value of uh, the Kuwaiti heritage and also exactly our, not everything has to be in Arabic yeah and our Arabian culture mm. and the Middle East culture they will under they can understand us through Heliquate and other uh, shows yeah, on TV course. too yeah. definitely it's really important also it's like a link between us mm -hmm. and people who are not uh, absolutely not I agree speakers. I agree 100% um, so you're saying your transition from radio was the radio part live or recorded live so then you switched to live t television. You yeah. didn't do a tape show. You were doing live television with Heliquate. Uh, mostly the reporting was taped. Uh, the the later, reporting yeah, yeah. at first, but then you jumped into as hosting. Yeah. And then you yeah. were but live be very, television. I mean, you guys have more experience, but live and, TV. And you, you know something? Uh, I, I don't know, guys, if you experienced that or not. I believe that when I started to host at the studio, yeah. uh, during the pandemic, we used to do some recorded episodes right, and live right, episodes. Right. I don't know because of the situation. I, you you might answer the question. What's the question? Um, I felt like the live episode is easier than the recorded one. Sometimes, oh, because I actually, I'm curious. I was going to ask because you. sometimes in a recorded environment, yeah, you allow yourselves to make mistakes. But in a live environment, in a live environment, you're on edge. Not necessarily, but you're always careful. And if you even make a mistake, you correct it exactly. and you yeah. move on. No second take, yeah. Mm -hmm. right? But, yeah, it's like live episodes. So it's faster, yeah, it is, I agree. Boost your uh, confidence. confidence and, and conscience. Yes, conscience. Yeah, so you're actually more alert and you're in uh, live. Because I've actually yeah, been yeah, very curious as yeah. to like when you're managing or hosting a live episode. I mean, that's so much to focus on. Uh, for the people watching, perhaps they don't have any media background. Do, do people, do, is the control room always talking to you when you're we, we don't, yeah. we don't, I, was I talking to you a lot in your ear when I was directing? I wasn't. It was, but yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. It, yeah, it just it, depends on what we need to let them know. It's necessary, yeah. It is necessary. I'm, I'm sure people are curious to know this, because when I was uh, on Halakwet, I think uh, I was being interviewed, and I was always wondering, is someone talking to the host right now? Exactly. Like, what, what, is, what is that person saying? It's just exactly. small <laughs> phrases, fix. Exactly. Fix the mic, fix your yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah it's, look it's, here, look it's there. Important. So but it's important. Yeah. Okay. You know, the show needs all a team. the times, not sometimes, all the time. I can ask a question. Uh, is it true that live TV has a like a you know a thirty second leeway? Like we're basically that's uh, more of a studio thing and yeah. technical. That's more of a technical, technical yeah. So like where there's it's not based seconds, on the shows. It's months. from the studio that broadcasts the material, and we cannot disclose our secrets at KTV. Of course, exactly. <laughs> I'm so sorry for asking. Confidential. <laughs> Confidential uh, information. However, um, you've done other shows like we've talked. Other than Hello Kuwait, we've done the list. You also do tapes. Exactly. Yeah. Tell us about tapes for the uninitiated. That's the thing. You might say, um, like, I'm a librarian and uh, you do TV hosting. It might sound. Uh, not so clear to anyone who, who are watching the interview, but if you see tapes, mm. it's really related to my major. You're, that's true. Yeah, I it think is, I've seen is it because a lot of I think a lot of research goes into yeah. it, and you archive, have archiving, archiving, archiving. Yes, 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 yes. When you go to the uh, basement and the archive, and mm. you yeah. see the content in the library, video library, there, it's yeah. all classified. Nice. Yeah. So it's really matching my major. So, That's amazing. Yeah, it's one of the dearest shows uh, to me. Love it. We'll talk some more right after this break.
We're back to continue the chat with Mohammed El Blushi. Um, Mohammed, we were talking about tapes. Exactly. Right. So I've actually seen some of those on your Instagram. I think I've seen exactly. them. Yeah. It's very interesting because it's a mixture of the history, was it? And kind of like the present day, is it? Or are, we, are you focusing only on the history? Of Mo mostly of the archive of uh, Kuwait TV. Mm. Okay. We, so exploring the vast history we exactly. have at KTV. Fitting with your major, fitting with your interest. It's very interesting how you bridge the gap between uh, passion, exactly. TV and media. Uh, and you know, the nostalgic vibe. The nostalgic vibe. Mm. I like you that. See, um, sometimes you like to go back and see some uh, old clips uh, that you used to watch before mm. and then you see rare ones also yeah that's the beauty of things. well there's also uh something about your look you're more into the vintage style oh you right? you, you want to hear it from the start yes <laughs> uh, maybe with the glasses on this time you want to well let's see let's oh, you're gonna put the full style get on. the full persona I'll, I'll, on. I'll keep it on yeah yeah let's see let's and see. by the way have you noticed changeable lenses uh, yeah there you go yeah it's it's working sometimes like um uh, at the morning <laughs> like when you go uh at the morning and also uh, yeah. at night it works mm -hmm. you know like to have this, let's say, uh, shield to yourself, right. as they say, or different character. But uh, if you want to, a lot of people ask me about your look. You look, um, you have that uh, classic look, yeah. or yeah. Uh, the vintage look, yeah. or yeah. the mustache, the sideburns. You're into that. Actually, fun. actually, it started from the pandemic. Pandemic. Wow, recently. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It started from the pandemic, pandemic because is usually, years ago now. usually, <laughs> uh, like you know. Um, Sometimes you go to the gym, sometimes you don't, especially if, mm. if you appear on TV. You think about uh, a look that won't distract the audience. Mm. Sometimes mm. some people, they sh appear on TV, but... And they're overly dressed. No, no, yeah, yeah. Or... Like when you see them on TV, uh, you feel distracted. Mm. But if you have a specific look and it looks um, like acceptable and yeah. you feel comfortable, um, sporting the mustache. I feel like it suits you. It's it's like yeah, you started, own it. You own it. Started from he the, actually does, and your consistency with it know? is what what's yeah, matter. It's actually consistency. very consistent. Yeah, your pictures, uh, the way you're on the show, your you style. She, when you walked in, I noticed your watch. By the way, yeah, even the yeah, watch yeah. style, like you can notice what we're wearing. It's like you know that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're it's like watch. you're going time traveling. Yeah, honestly, yes. Yeah, it especially is. Especially we're at Kuwait City. It's like Kuwait City, yeah. And and especially in that vintage attractions magazine shoots you had. That was a different look. Oh, thank you. That was Wait, which one? Which one? Which one? He had a magazine uh, shoot. Were you the cover star of that magazine? Yes. He is it the one where he's sitting on a couch? November. 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 That is the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was Movember. He's sitting on a couch. Yeah, yeah. It was Movember. With, with the yeah. Okay, I like it. I think it, it was like a cool... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, asked to grow my mustache more because of the Movember campaign. Okay, oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. I, love, I, love how, I love how in love you are with the history of Kuwait. And I think perhaps the one thing I would... Because I'm not Kuwaiti myself. The one thing I want to ask you is that what are you... Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, what are you in love with about the history of Kuwait? Uh, what is it that stands out that you feel like? Because you, you said you, when you watch rare tapes, right? Yeah. I'm curious, what is a rare tape? I feel I feel attracted to the old colors. Let's say if um, if you want to ask me about uh, films, uh, as you uh, as Ahmed knows, I like old films. Mm. Um, you also not... review movies on your Instagram whenever sometimes, you feel like yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Okay. I don't want to stress the um, anyone who's watching my account. Either they're followers. But they're very cool stuff. because yeah, yeah. they're uh, direct to the point, short, concise. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, one, no one now at the age of uh, social media, at the about to go, you see the things that called reels, yeah. shorts. And yeah, because the attention span. Only one yeah. minute, you know, yeah. only one it's minute. An you can, you can't talk more than uh, one minute sometimes. And either. you're no stranger to reels, my friend. Uh, yeah, I've been trying my best to reduce it. Like, my friends are like, exactly. you have to make it 30 seconds. I'm like, I can barely breathe. You can barely say I'm like, hello, that's... everyone, it's 30 seconds. Anyway, yeah. it can be uh, complex. So uh, if you want to ask me again about the look, it started from the pandemic yeah. because you sometimes when you're at the pandemic, you don't go to the barber. You right. shave alone. You look then... like the guy from Castaway again. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so when you think about... Uh, how to define your look mm. yeah, and define what suits you the most nice. takes time. Of course. But the pre-pandemic, we were always busy and we were always going out. We never thought about the basic things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up until we're, we're always, at home stuff. Yeah, we're always uh, uh, busy with work and uh, friends and mm. family. So I thought about the typical style and uh, how to do something more suitable to me. I feel comfortable with that. And you kind of figured out the style, you kind of like found it and it just stuck with you. Yes, yes, and also helps you to cover the uh, 
face fat. Face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What is that? The it mustache? You, no, no, it defines, yeah, yeah, the mustache, long mustache, and the. So it defines, I guess the beard does help. I yeah, yeah, it defines. <laughs> I'm clean to Alex 16. It, it, uh, it, defi like it. it defines your uh, face uh, the, mostly if you're getting extra weight. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's an advice to everyone, I guess. I don't know how they're going to take it. <laughs> That's a secret. Uh, so, throughout television, you've had successful shows like currently the. Uh, Heliquate and the tapes. Um, I'll send you the list to laugh at. I mean, to enjoy the list. <laughs> I think. I mean, if, if you if you guys share the show, like one. What, what was the one thing I think you learned from hosting a show, especially that was a long time ago? Are we are we saying this it was, was one last of, last Ramadan? Last so not last this one, the one yeah, before. Yeah. Um, uh, perhaps like what was the what what is it they usually learn from uh, TV as a live presenter as a host with tremendous experience. Well, if you want to learn uh, to be a TV host, you have to act same as a, uh, let's say, a student, mm -hmm. like a student in front of your guests. Mm. You, you, can, okay. you, you can't get the upper hand or, or make your guests feel like you have the upper hand. In, mm. uh, with all them, uh, since we mentioned the look and the shape, like especially like when, how do you choose your barber? You feel comfortable with a with a specific barber shop and you go to it exactly. because they know and they're interested to make you feel better and make you look better mm. as as we say That's also true. it's like part of the tv host job you have to make your guests feel better about talking about themselves and sharing their yes. stories and experiences i don't want to be that tv host that if you like um, let's say if they say something, I say something double as they do. Right. Like, You're not challenging. You don't them. try to yeah, overshadow yeah, yeah. the yeah, yeah. the guest. Why, no. Why, why would? Because the guest is supposedly. Yeah. Of, yeah. of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I like yeah, that yeah. style. Yeah. And I kind of see like because as a librarian, you're obviously curious about books, and I kind of feel like when you're sitting with guests, you're just bringing the same curiosity mm -hmm. to your guests. Hey. So I'm interested in a book. You're, everyone's technically a book, right? Hey. But like you're just not reading it. You're exactly. just asking the right questions. Straight to the point. Uh, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've tried my <laughs> yeah. best to think about this one. We have to get from your wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We're just opening the right chapter, you know? Hey. Well, <laughs> he is an old man, so. <laughs> my second name is Al Ajud. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so do you think, this is a question for the two of us, I guess. Yeah, we're good. I'll ask. Because he brought it up one time. Do you so think we he... are going to ask Hussein or no, no. going to ask you this or both of you going to ask? This is the question that we... <laughs> Who's asking who at this point? Yeah. I'm asking a question about it's, this. It's like the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The three people. Yeah. Do you think wrestling has influenced our oh hosting styles? Yes okay. or no? I shall say. That, that's he, one, one of the... When he more. first met me, he was like, you sound like one of those wrestlers when I was doing my introduction. Very... He thought I sounded like a wrestler. He loves wrestling anyway. I mean, well, I, am, I, I am not a fan of wrestling. Okay. They're, they're, like, Tell us. If you want to defy it. Uh, Do you think uh, it, we're influenced by that? You know, I'm a big wrestling fan. I, I watch wrestling mm. uh, since my childhood. And if you want to, I cannot deny that TV was a big part, mm. uh, or TV is a big part of uh, my Our childhood. Our childhood, yeah. Yeah, especially uh, wrestling and KTV2 also. <laughs> I like how you smile. Well, he, he used to watch it yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KTV2, yeah. especially afternoon and especially during Friday. Like, they have amazing schedule at the 90s. Still, they're having amazing schedule, but wow. it was really... What were the options back then? We were like the two only options, KTV1, KTV2. It, it I want to ask you, I'm so sorry, but how old are you, man? Oh. Uh, I believe, like, when you uh, have you an interview see? with someone, they tried to make it mystique. <laughs> He's young. Not on the untold. He's young. On the untold, you have to tell well, us the say, truth. Let, You're talking how, about, how, how about How about a diplomatic answer? Yeah, what's the diplomatic I'm answer? I'm old enough to remember the 90s. No, but like, no, the thing is, if you're talking about the 90s I'm as if they're old, like yesterday. Yeah, yeah, let's say I'm old enough to remember KTV2 during the 90s. Okay, so he was born in the 80s. Uh, it's yeah, not a big secret. Obviously not the 60s. I mean, yeah. yeah. The 80s. Imagine. Well, I, I wish I looked at the 60s or 70s. See, that's actually a question I had. If you could go back in time, which era would you live in? If you'd love the history so much. Uh, the Greek mythology oh, wow. era. And the, yeah, what is that? And, and he didn't like know the, the Greek mythology. I mean, when? When is that? When? When? No, like sure. he you know, wants a year. Like any uh, time, in a peaceful time. In the past. Peaceful. Yeah, yeah. In exactly, the past. Yeah. During the, like peace time, not war time. Yeah. They, they used to have a lot of wars back then. Okay. So, um, 
and also like the 60s and 70s because I'm impressed uh, about the industry back then and the media and uh, all the things we are still keeping from the 60s and the yeah. 70s either in Kuwait or worldwide mm. I, I love the stuff there but you're it's also interested in acting aren't you yeah it's um, about acting it's uh what comes first to uh ktv2 mm. and uh, one of the one of the most role models i really follow is mm. uh, uh, my co-host um, Good evening to him, Barak Al-Aliyana. Barak Al-Aliyana, hello. Hi, sir. Thank you. Yes. Every time before I join, um, before I thought about being a TV host, when I think about myself being an English TV host, mm. the first image comes to me is Barak Al-Aliyana. Okay. Yeah, Barak Al-Aliyana. Why though? Because I used, watch to, I used to watch, I watch him on KTV2 nice. uh, back then, and um, he, he was uh, amazing, and he's still amazing and inspiring me. Like, he's a great role model to me, and mm. it's really my uh, honor to be his uh, co-host. And also, uh, about acting. Actually, it was an old passion during uh, 2008. Okay. Time of 2008 until 2011. Uh, I started to do short movies. Okay. You know, the chaos and the misorganized scripts and uh, yeah. how to, you have to stand up without any script and you do um, like things you like to do, but you don't know how it will look like on mm. camera. Mm. And I made a 45, Try, yeah, yeah, uh, 45 uh, minute, minute short film. A horror film. Horror, horror film. Yeah, horror and it film. was shown, it was shown on cinema. Horror yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That must be very tough. We, we brought a seven feet tall giant, <laughs> real giant, and he was like the. Uh, was it like the great Kali or the, 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 the similar, <laughs> similar the killer the or Kali. the uh, like you know the slasher at the film? But yeah. he was my alter ego, and I was evil, and I was the one who. Wow. You know why haven't a, I seen this film? It was a short film. Do you I have a copy? Is what I'm asking. I, I will search for a copy. Okay. I will good. search for a copy for it, and I will send it to you. And I believe it... now it's uh, it can be sent on the phone. I believe. I will show. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah, you'll have to show me. We'd love yeah. to watch it. Yes. Yeah. Um, before we wrap up, do you have any uh, last words or advice for us up and coming TV hosts? Maybe. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, of ah, course, yeah, pleasure. Say, and thank you so much. It's uh, a wonderful it's time. It's really to have my you. pleasure being uh, and untold. I really like your show. Thank Please you. keep going. Uh, and I'm uh, really happy to be here for all, with all the crew here all around. The but I like thank the place you. here. I like the atmosphere here. <laughs> it's all yours. It's all yours. Yeah. The pleasure is ours. Honestly. Any advice, though, for up and coming? Okay. TV so else? if uh, the, there's any advice, people who are want to work on TV, please uh, believe in yourself, listen to others, uh, advices are precious, even if it was criticizing to you. So mm. hear everything mm. and apply Keep an open mind, apply the advices as much as you can. And be curious. Exactly. Well, thank All you, right. Mohammed. Uh, and uh, it was a beautiful episode with you today. It's my pleasure. And we're going to wrap up right after this. What a beautiful episode with Hamad Leblushi today. Obviously a colleague of yours, a friend of yours, yes. uh, someone with a lot of experience in the field. Yes. What do you think? Um, uh, I'm learning something new about this guy every time I see him, yeah. really. He's very interesting and I just love working with him. I hope we get to have another show in the I country. love his character. I love, his, I, I love the fact he's very consistent with his character. Yes. I think the way he talks, the, his interests, his history, yes, yes. his passion uh, is very... I don't he's know, also a very funny guy as well. He we is. get to know him. Offset, before Offset, obviously, yes. when we're not recording, yeah, 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 is obviously yeah, yeah. just kind of like talking about a lot. He's very curious quite about the people. character. The first time I saw him, he just asked me about my favorite movie all the time. He kept insisting on knowing my favorite movie. You don't know your favorite movie? I sometimes question if I know it. I think. Do you know mine is a Lebanese movie? No way. Yes. Is it the one, uh, what do you call it? What is it? Capernaum. I have no idea. Well, this is not over, under, or clack. This is beyond like all. So we're not talking about movies, but we'll be having more guests in our next yes, episode. Yes, we will. And that's it for tonight's episode. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Good night.